y'all what's poppin oh my god let's adjust the light and let's adjust the light just on poquito it's a little bit hold up hold up uh boom hold up oh that's better that's better my friends how you doing today wait comment down below how you doing today today we're gonna be talking about how ricardo's probably the worst son anyone can ask for Okay, like, and honestly, I I'm probably gonna need to start a GoFundMe for me to bail myself out of the jail because I'm probably gonna put hands on Ricardo. I'm probably gonna knock him the fuck out because Ricardo say yo moon kiki never like he, he pisses me off. And I'm probably the only person in my family who hasn't gotten into a legitimate argument with Ricardo. So as y'all saw in the last video, Ricardo had the nerve audacity to pull the braids out of his wife's head. If y'all missed that video, go watch that video because because I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you don't have your notifications turned on. I don't know why you're not on the Patreon. I don't know why you don't like me. But clearly, if the notification is not turned on, if you're not subscribed, if you didn't smash the like button, if you didn't leave a comment, if you didn't watch the last video, you don't fuck with me. You don't like me. This is how I did. That's what I'm telling you. You don't like me. All right. So. Today we're gonna be talking about how he's literally the worst son ever. So the time I'm filming this video, essentially his mother will be coming next week. I will not be here next week. I have a bachelorette trip to go to this weekend and I decided I'm gonna stay for a personal vacation. All right, so essentially my man's mother will be having a surprise birthday party. By the time that this video is out, it's not even gonna be a surprise anymore, so I have no problem saying that. So he is going to follow up with a solo vacation to see his family in Georgia. So I decided I might as well stay in New Orleans after the bachelorette trip that I'm taking to New Orleans and just stay there. New Orleans is actually my favorite city next to Seattle and I am exhausted. I am mentally exhausted. I'm physically exhausted. I am tired. Okay, like I'm financially strained, I'm mentally strained, I'm emotionally strained. So I'm like, you know what? I just need a break from everything. I need a break from life. I need a break from the cat. I need a break from y'all. Sorry, I love y'all so much, but like I barely ever take a legitimate break from social media. Like my breaks from social media consist of me catching up on work. Like anytime y'all hear me being like, guys, I needed a break, you know, that's just me not filming. But a break for me means I'm catching up on shit that I just didn't do. Okay, so this is a complete detox. I don't want to talk to my sister. I don't want to talk to my editor. I don't give a fuck. If the sky is falling, I'm taking a damn break. I'm so vacant. All right, the most work I'll probably be doing is dancing. That's it. And that's because dancing has never worked for me because I genuinely enjoy dancing. However, it just happens to be the same exact week that my aunt is coming, AKA Ricardo's aunt. So I saw my mother last week and Mon Madre had the nerve all audacity to tell me that I had to tell Ricardo that when his mother come here, that I gotta tell him that he gotta give money for his mother. He he has to give his mother the room and he has to basically pick her up from the airport. Now me, I'm sitting here like, what the fuck are you talking about? Why can't you tell him that? She's like, oh, I did. And it caused the whole argument. So I'm like, what? wait, what the? F so y'all, let's walk this shit back. <laughs> you would think you haven't seen your mother in over two years because of you, okay? It is your fault, okay? Now, if you guys remember, I already told this story before. Like literally, this is probably what kicked off the Ricardo stories on my channel. We talked about this before. The reason Ricardo's mother didn't come last year is because Ricardo did not answer his mother's phone calls. However, later on it was revealed that apparently his mother was calling his old phone number. And they were talking all of this shit about Ricardo, saying Ricardo was horrible, Ricardo does that in the third. However, we call Haiti on the spot. And I was like, all right, talk that shit now. What did y'all say about Ricardo? Like literally, because I'm like, listen, as much as Ricardo gets on my nerves, I'ma need y'all to talk all that shit that y'all talk in a general sense about anyone to their face. And we called Haiti straight up. And I was like, all right, so y'all said that the reason that his mother not here is because he not answering the phone. She's sitting there crying in Haiti, talking all of this shit, saying Ricardo's a horrible person. Ricardo not answering her phone calls. Meanwhile, she calling the wrong number. And he be talking to certain people in Haiti all the time. Granted, he don't pick up everybody's phone calls and he really be ignoring certain people's phone calls because all they do is ask for money. Shit, I do the same thing. But for the most part, he does have contact with specific people in Haiti. So I'm sitting here like, okay, you would think you haven't seen your mother in this much time. You would want to see your mother again. You know, you would do anything to see your mother again. You wouldn't be giving any fucking problems. 
Y'all, why the fuck? My mother was like, yeah, the other day, I told Ricardo like, hey, your mother's coming. Make sure you get your room prepared for her. Make sure you have money set aside for her because she's gonna need to eat. She has some health conditions. We're gonna need to take her to the doctor, you know? Make sure you set up some arrangements or you take off from work to get her picked up from the airport. He gonna say, why can't she sleep on the couch outside? Well, it's not a couch to day bed, essentially. Why do I need to give up my room? Why do I need to give extra money when there's food here? Why would I need to pick her up? Who's gonna pick her up? Apparently, he didn't, that, that part didn't even really come up that way. Apparently, he came out of nowhere asking my parents, oh, isn't my mom coming soon? Who gonna pick her up? Are you not her son? And the shit that annoys me about this is Ricardo don't call that lady for nothing. Ricardo don't check in on that lady for nothing. She had a stroke. He didn't even know his mama had a stroke, lady and gentlemen. Then he gonna get mad at my mother and I talk about so, oh, y'all some horrible people. Specifically coming at my mother like, oh, you a dog of a person on shin moon. How my mother have a stroke, you ain't tell me. Bitch, that's your mother. You should know your mother had a stroke. And the only reason my mother didn't really know or didn't really tell him is because at the time my mother had left her phone on the bus. And when she left her phone on the bus or whatever, I had her phone. I had to go pick it up from the stranger because the stranger ended up calling somebody. And then like, it, it was some whole thing. And that's the time that she had the stroke. So if you were actually contacting people that were relevant enough in Haiti, you would have known that your mother had a stroke, sweetheart. Like, bitch, don't fucking play with me. Like, what? So it's just like, sir, you're going to be picking up your mother. Like, no, I refuse to do anything anymore because at this point you're you're fucking joking. Like you're kidding me. So this shit is is crazy because then apparently my mom answers and is like, um, you're gonna be picking her up. Like why wouldn't you be picking her up? Now mind you, she comes in on a Tuesday. It's during a week, but I literally sent these people the itinerary a uh, minute ago, like maybe two three months ago. So I don't give a fuck who got a call out. I don't give a fuck who losing hours, who losing money, who losing any of that because I've been sent it. So if you have to take off, if you have to sell a kidney, if you have to suck some dick to take off work, you better do that shit because at this point I don't understand you should have been done what you had to do to get your mother out of the airport I really don't care what you have to do to get your mother out of the airport because no and now I'm really not gonna be here so it's crazy because now you have a problem getting your mother out the airport then when it came to the whole room thing now this is crazy I specifically got my parents a day bed for their little living room type of area which technically is not a living room but it's a living section because I I thought I would pressure my parents. I've talked about this literally. It's probably one of the very few first videos on my channel. I thought I would pressure my parents to get Ricardo out of the house by telling them your living room will be the room that Ricardo is currently occupying. He said he will leave very soon. However, we we're in the second year of them being in this apartment and Ricardo's still there. He keeps claiming he's moving now. He keeps saying he don't want to be there. He keeps saying it is that, that, ja, 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 ja. Me, Ricardo toujours no kaila. Ricardo toujours la. He toujours He's always talking all of this shit, but he ain't never leave. But they do have a section with a TV and where you can put a couch. So I put a day bed there. It functions as a bed and it functions as a couch. If you guys don't know what a day bed is, it's literally like a living, it's, it's literally like a piece of furniture where you can put a mattress there, but it kind of looks like a couch. You can literally put sheets on it, pillows on it, everything. It looks really nice. I honestly opted to probably take it myself and just put a futon there because it is kind of big for the space and I might just do it because it's just been a huge point of contention. They honestly want to put it in their room instead, but I'm like, it's going to take way too much space in their room. It's just, the child, it's just fucking ridiculous. So anyway child it's been a whole thing um where essentially i bought it for my aunt but my mom is like oh no we can't put your aunt there because people in haiti are gonna talk shit and then she's like oh my aunt would never sleep there because it looks bad we need to put her in a room and i'm like why what is the big deal like i'm so like i don't think it's that serious it is a bed there's a tv right in front of it it's actually really nice it's pretty big it's like a double xl size like a double twin XL size, like it's really, really nice. So I'm like, I personally don't see the big deal. Like, should I sleep on it? And usually like Ricardo actually has been sleeping on it ever since his wife done left his ass, you know? So I'm like, I don't know. Like even my dad sleeps on it sometimes, but apparently my dad done spoke up. He said he don't give a shit. He ain't sleeping there anytime in the summertime because it's hot as hell and there is no ventilation there. There's no window. There is no AC over there. So he's like, yeah, straight up, I ain't sleeping there. So I don't know what y'all gonna do, but I ain't sleeping there. So now I'm just sitting here like, 
okay. So the only option is to put my aunt in Ricardo's room and Ricardo sleep there. So my mother tells Ricardo this and he's just like, what? Like, no, I'm not giving my mom my room. And apparently my aunt is looking to stay for as long as possible because Haiti's in disarray. Like I've been talking about on this channel as well as my Haitian channel. So at least for the next six months, so for the better part of August, September, October, November, December, January, should be leaving in like, oh wow, like February-ish. So I'm just like, so you don't want to give up your room. You don't want to pick her up. So now I'm going to have to tell him or better yet reinforce those two things. And then I'm going to have to tell him he needs to give money for his mom to eat and to go to the doctor. So I'm just like, this is crazy. So I took my mom to the grocery store last week and I ended up calling him thinking he could help bring the groceries up because they were heavy as all hell. He wasn't around and he didn't pick up the phone. He ends up calling me back. And my mom already told me this whole story of how he was acting. Why the hell he going to fuck? call me back talking about some oh yeah so um who's picking my mother up as if my mother didn't already tell his bitch ass that he's picking his own mother up so i'm like you're picking your own mother up he's like oh me i thought you were picking her up i'm like no you're picking her up why would i be picking her up and plus i will not be here so like i already told you you already have her information oh um when is she coming again what time is she coming again i'm like bro dead ass so now he playing dumb like don't listen first of all his mother just had a stroke and on top of that, she's older, she doesn't know English, and you're pissing me off. Don't fucking let me hear while I'm on vacation, while I'm in New Orleans, that that lady is waiting a single second extra for somebody to pick her up in the goddamn airport. I will walk back to Jersey if I have to to curse your bitch ass out. And the thing that annoys me the most about this is that this lady be sitting here crying for her son, talking about how much she misses her son, talking about how he's not that bad and people be coming for him and da 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 your son is a piece of trash auntie okay like it just makes me so mad and again i understand you know some people they'll always love their kids and their kids can do no wrong yeah whatever 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 that's fine whatever but recognize your kids ain't shit recognize when your kids are doing wrong to you recognize when your kids are wrong like that man ain't shit like do you know last time she came here and she wasn't like confident in the things that people were saying about Ricardo. She didn't believe that Ricardo would stay out all the times of the night and he would bring back all these types of bums and he would be drunk as fuck coming back in the house scaring my parents thinking and have my parents thinking it was burglars and stuff like y'all it's a lot of shit. Okay, and yes, he's grown. He's like in his 40s, whatever. But when you live with other people, you have to be considerate. There's no reason you're coming in three, four, five, six o'clock in the morning and you're drunk as fuck out your mind to the point where my parents think like someone's breaking in the house because you're out that late consistently and you're, you're stumbling in. Like one time, Ricardo came. This is not funny. I laugh about it every time and my mom gets so bad when I laugh, but it's funny. One time, Ricardo came in the house so lit, okay, y'all? So drunk that like, he was so lit that he couldn't get back in his room. So I guess he fell asleep in the closet. And my mom got up for work around like 5, 6 a.m. He literally woke up from the drunk slumber out of the closet, y'all. And scared my mother half to death. Like, imagine if she would have had an heart attack. <laughs> like, yo, like he literally, like imagine somebody just pops up out of the closet drunk as hell. That's literally what happened. That's literally what happened. Like, I just can't. Like, this is the shit that I'm talking about. Like, he just does a lot of shit that don't make no sense. A lot of inconsiderate shit. Like... <laughs> That story was so, like, to this day, I still find it funny, but at the same time, it's not funny. Because what the fuck are you doing? Like, why do you think that's okay to do? And he consistently does things like that. And she didn't believe that he would do things like that until the time when she actually came. And she realized, like, oh, shit. Like, Ricardo, you ain't never here. And, you know, she confronted him, like, yo, like, you never here. Like, why are you never here? Like, that's how she talked. Oh! Oh, God, oh, you never hear. Why you never hear? Oh, my child, Pete, when? We can stop by it, la. Oh, it, la, Pete, when? And this nigga started laughing at her in her face. Just disrespectful. Just, just, just laughing at her. Like, it just walks out the fucking door. Just walked out the... I'm like, yo, it again. That's a grown-ass man. But you understand where I'm coming. Like, you not even coming in at decent times. Like, you just coming in at, like, 
four or five, six o'clock in the morning and then you're drunk as shit and you're scaring people. Like, oh my God, and then you're not contributing to shit. You're disrespectful, you taking food, you putting it in different places and you cooking it at your friend's house. It's just too damn much for me. So at this point, I just can't wait to see what next week brings. He better pick up his mama. He better start giving up money and he better give up his goddamn room. Because if not, I'm gonna have to start a GoFundMe for my bail fund. He gonna finally know who the fuck I is today because I ain't got time for it. Like, it's just very ridiculous. Like, I, I just don't get it. Like, ugh, child, I'm gonna have to call him between today. Before I leave Friday, I'm gonna be like, listen, here are the stipulations for your mother. You have to start, start taking care of her. Don't, you don't even got a wife no more. So you can't even say you're taking care of your wife. She don't like your ass. She taking care of herself with her $18,000 in the bank. You ain't got no money in the bank. Now she walk around at the all state. Let me stop, but no, seriously. Y'all, let me know. What would y'all do in this situation? Cause honestly, I really want Ricardo to get the fuck out. And I might just give him a, a three month notice and just kick his ass out at this point. Because you've been saying you was gonna move out for mad long now. And he's starting to really get on my god Xanners. So with that being said, let me know down in the comment section below. What do you guys make of all of this? mess do you guys think that he is going to give the money give up his room and pick up his mother from the airport personally he doesn't have a choice with that being said make sure you guys like share subscribe do all that join the patreon for exclusive uploads dedicated patreon and early access and so much more and make sure you guys check out my other two channels my main channel deals with rants reactions and commentary on black social issues and my haitian channel deals with haitian voodoo politics and folklore everything you need that you guys consistently ask me about down below will be in the description box so yeah i'm gonna see y'all next time bye